Have you been listening to and not just hearing music this week? George Mariner Mall, Artistic Director of the Discovery Orchestra, back with Discovery Chat 20, Special Effects. I can hardly believe we're up to Chat 20 already. Seems like yesterday when we first began taping these using makeshift lighting and handheld cams. <laughs> now, thanks to Dave Emmerling and Midnight Media, you can actually see us clearly and brightly lighted. And I also want to thank all of you who've been watching these chats. Not only have you been sending us your comments, but this week you helped take us over the 5,000 views threshold on the Discovery Orchestra's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and keep spreading the word. I don't know how much time you've spent listening to people play rather simply constructed folk instruments. The sound of folk instruments can be rather unique they produce a sound that, to us, might sometimes feel rough-edged. When Bela Bartok was roaming around his native Hungary and parts of Romania in search of folk musicians who would perform their melodies, harmonies, songs, and dances for him, I'm quite sure he encountered some pretty wild sounds. In the third dance of his suite called Romanian Folk Dances, I have to think that he wanted to imitate the sound of a folk instrument, something that would sound very exotic to the listener. And to do this, he has the string player employ two special timbre effects. One of these special effects is called playing on the bridge. What bridge might we be speaking of here? The Brooklyn Bridge? London Bridge? Or maybe the Golden Gate Bridge? Those of you who are familiar with stringed instruments know that all of them have a specific mechanical component called the bridge. Here's one. The strings sit on this bridge. It's made of wood. When the strings vibrate, it vibrates. And then its tiny little legs vibrate, transmitting those vibrations to the belly or the upper large wooden surface, which is then connected to the back by a cylindrical wooden post unseen inside the instrument known as the sound post. So once again, when we set a string in motion, it vibrates, then the bridge vibrates, the belly vibrates, the sound post vibrates, and the back vibrates, and the resultant sound waves now, as compressed air molecules, escape through these holes. Now, under ordinary circumstances, we play the string in the space between the end of the fingerboard and the bridge. This allows for maximum vibration of the string. But if we move the bow near to or on the bridge, the string's vibrations are restricted, creating this sound. It's really kind of a creepy sound, isn't it? Now, another special timbre effect could be created by playing what we call harmonics. Only in this instance, instead of restricting the string vibration by playing on the bridge, we lightly place our finger on the string to cause it to vibrate partially. This causes another pitch altogether to sound, but it also has a kind of half-formed ethereal quality to it, and we call this a harmonic. Time won't really allow me to get into the physics of this, but let's, die, let, let's do another uh, demonstration. Here's vibrating freely. And then, vibrating partially. Using these two special effects, Bartok delivers to us not only folk music, but also an authentic folk sound. Brandon Cho and Marsha Mall are back with us again. I'm going to ask Brandon to play a few bars of this dance without the special effects of playing on the bridge or playing harmonics.
be transported to Transylvania, and we'll see you for chat 21. Thank you.